Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind, actually. I'm actually blind right now. I, uh, I, I taped some tape over my eyes with some tape. <laughs> so I don't, crazy. I don't know where the starting menu is. <laughs> yeah, it might be all the way down here. Yeah, holy shit, why is there so many fucking save files? <laughs> That's a great question. Alright, well anyway, in the last one we've completed the first... Hey, stop it. <laughs> we completed the first, uh, episode. And uh, technically the first turnabout, which is the first turnabout. <laughs> All in one episode, so it's just an introduction. So now it's turnabout sisters! And this is when stuff starts uh, hitting the fan. So are you ready, Cameron? No. Alright. You're gonna have to read so a couple things. Bling! Bling! Beep! Hello, this is Maya. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I was gonna say, I thought this was the person you wanted me to voice. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was uh, I thought it was the other me. The, why do they have names that are so similar? What, what voice did I give? Was it... Just do the... Well, she's brand new. So I was thinking for, like, you give her the, uh, the Goombella voice. I don't remember what I did for Goombella. She's like... Nah, 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 nah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Maya. It's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well... Lonely. And it's all... Your... Fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, you dipshit. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's made, out of... it's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Mm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say nine nine o'clock to pick it up. I'll be I'll be on a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Some good. Like peanut. I mean burgers. <laughs> I can really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal! Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting. Maya. Beep! Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. This is September 5th, 8.57 Yeah, so this is later on in the day. Yeah. Now, Miss Faye, I'll... I'll take what's mine. The oh wait, wait. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what you what I don't have. Wait, this should be you. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why? I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho ho! You are not cogni cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I I should have been more careful. Oh, ho. my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9 <laughs> yeah. So this is 11 this is, minutes after. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we can all go out to dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. 
using that. There you go, yeah, you can look around at everything. I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see what- You can check in the plant! <laughs> Motherfucker was like, there's blood- I can smell blood, and you're checking the calendar? <laughs> Checking the light. <laughs> yeah, check, check the couch. Check the couch. Check the there couch. could be evidence in there. You gotta, 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 check, gotta, you gotta check the thing that holds There's hats. crazy music in my ears right now, and you're like, I gotta check the files. I gotta, I gotta check Charlie over here. I gotta, I gotta check the, the cover. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, uh, back. Press, uh, press the Is there button. nothing to examine here? No, because they want you to go and move. Yeah, move. <laughs> then why do they even give an option to examine? It, it's, I don't know. Just the office. Anyway, you got your attorney's <laughs> that's, that's all we have, I guess. Yeah. That smell. Blood. <laughs> Someone's there. Gas! <laughs> Chief? Chief? Chief! <laughs> I didn't realize how big of a knockers that Mia had. I know, I was thinking <laughs> Who are you? Does she run away? Oh, she just fell on the floor. <laughs> Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her laying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she was laying under the window. Examine. <laughs> her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. It's hard to see her like this, but if there's any clues here, she was struck by it on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker laying down next to her must be must have been the murder weapon. Alright, looks like it's back again! There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards! <laughs> They're gonna go lovely with my decorations. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Uh, uh, are you not gonna examine the paper? <laughs> broken sh- <gasps> no clues here. <laughs> no clues here. <laughs> no clues here. I think they want you to examine the. Wait a second. Yeah, there, it tells you that when if you examine something and you already done it, there's a little check mark. That way you're getting all your stuff. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Pretty good to sit in too. <laughs> Thanks, Phoenix. <laughs> there's a large building across from this office. The the Gate Water Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Not like the water gate. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> he crushed it with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. It's painful to look, but for- I have to. For Mia's sake. It looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. I was gonna say, why didn't it say I, I already did that one? I don't know. You're gonna look at the paper now. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> a word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think it there's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. No, how do we phone the police? We don't have a cell phone! <laughs> It's made by Larry Butts. Okay, it's a murder weapon. <laughs> I thought you said, all right, he's the murderer. <laughs> all right. Oh, we gotta call the police. Oh, wait. The, the Faye and Co. ledger book. Everything is written in the cheese, ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Can we go surf the web? Surprising, the chief was never good at machines. All of us she used this PC was for emails. She picked this ancient model from the garage sale for practically nothing. I gotta make good sure on I'm, her. I'm examining everything. I think you did. I think the only thing now is to... 
call the police for the dead body and the... <laughs> that can oh, wait. <laughs> what do you mean she, can... She's gonna be dead when they get there regardless. <laughs> That's so fucked up! She's not gonna be any deader! <laughs> All the she's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. Are you satisfied? No clues here! Right! I better call the police! That's funny. A few of the screws of the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. <gasps> Police! Wait, who's, who says this? I don't know. <laughs> Actually. Please come quick! What, what was that? Someone's screaming from outside the window. <gasps> She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand. Are we gonna call the police now? <laughs> oh, I thought we could look out the window and be like, like hi! Yeah. <laughs> Just wave at her. It's like, there's a creepy man! For a normal desk, the chief had very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Now do we call the police? <laughs> We're risking with a few screws, better not use it. Are we done here then? Should we check up on the girl that fainted? No, I think she's alright. Oh, okay. She definitely did not hit her head on the way down. <laughs> she went uh, thunk. just sliding back and forth. Yeah. <gasps> that girl just now. Where did she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Oh no. I hope she didn't run on on me. Yes! <laughs> Don't scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? Dot dot dot! <laughs> it's okay, I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya Faye? Maya? Like the girl that. <laughs> the, the word that's written in blood! <laughs> so Mia was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought I'd be using evidence like this outside of a courtroom. Get used to doing that a lot with things, by the way. The reception desk. I usually sit here. <laughs> good on good on you. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. More fucking fun. You can't cram more legal books in here even if you could. If you can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. About the door. That's where the murder scene is. It's slightly open. I could tell. I better not touch the doorknob. This is this is over clients. It's leather. A real luxury model. It's actually black as a casting cast. A large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Base, right? Phoenix base. <laughs> Sorry if I'm taking a while. I like to be thorough. Yeah. I guess now you should talk to the the girl. Is this your name written in blood? Before Mia died, she wrote a message in her own blood. She wrote this on the back of the receipt. Look at her. Yeah, get used to a lot of sprites. <laughs> That's my name! Why? Why? Why would you write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would this write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. <gasps> the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Oh, do a Brooklyn accent for him. Yeah. Wait, just, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Freeze, police! This is the, he's the best character in the game! <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? I wonder an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? We've got a person saying they saw a murder. See? <laughs> Must have been that woman I saw. She got big tits. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya, wait. Wait, she wouldn't have. Ah. Whoa! Excuse me. Hey! I'm sure Maya's here mean anything to you. No! Come! 
That's my name! What? Victim Drew is here and in her blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer, I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct! What? what? Bye, Maya. <laughs> My Nina's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning, but didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Hey, sorry your sister's dead, by the way. <laughs> this is the next day, 12 hours later. Wow. Damn, poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you! Good morning! G good morning! Good morning! She looks so tired. Oh, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Sorry, no, shit! <laughs> mm, do I give her the choice, or do I just say, of course I will? I don't know, what, what, do you, what would you want to do? You're the lawyer here. I'm just named Phoenix. <laughs> of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up! Really? Whoa, did I say something? Something? Did I, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? Don't, you, you don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked to me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought... It's okay, I understand. I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh. Today was my my junior partner's first time in court. Whoa, really? How'd that go? He went dog shit. <laughs> He kept throwing papers at the people's faces and, and smacking the papers like Yeah. <laughs> he kept saying, Your honor, he was double dog dare to do it, whatever that <laughs> It was quite a scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. Been a while. Damn, we were edging her. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh my god. We were edging such a hottie. Let's go. <laughs> ah, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing it's lacking is experience. Oh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. <laughs> that is, unless you want to be found guilty. <laughs> Damn. Man, she, she was like, Yeah, that's why I'm not going to have you in my eternity. That's you what she <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what she said. <laughs> that is exactly what she said. I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to insult you. Asshole. <laughs> no, it's okay. It it's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. But I think of the person that did this to Mia. I know. All right, you want to talk to her? All right, I'm gonna examine her. I can't examine her. This no, is the um. <laughs> When you examine any character that's on, on screen, it disappears for it. Come off of the camera! Wait, can you look at the guard? <laughs> this guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Wait, you should show her your defense attorney bitch! <laughs> I think that's an achievement in this game of just presenting your badge to everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen that before. Alright, cool. Should we, should we just talk? Oh. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Of course it is. Better not ask her about this now. Hey, you know about these broken cigar shards? This was lying next to the sheep's body. I saw that too. They said they thought those were pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. Though I never heard of a glass light stand before this. Hey, why is your name written in blood on this? Remember that receipt? You, you mean the one with my name on it? Yeah, what other receipt would I- Yeah, any idea why she- Absolutely none! Uh, do you 
trust me? Uh, you say yes. <laughs> I trust you. What? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... That detective thinks I did it. Well, Gumshoe's a fucking idiot. I mean, I love him. Never mind. <laughs> You can talk to Maya about Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah? What's with that outfit? <laughs> oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. An acolyte? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A, a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Oh, something strange or anything! <laughs> so you're an acolyte? A, um, medium in training? That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You say the Fae family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. I like how they put that in quotes. Like, she said, follow her career! Whatever the fuck that means! <laughs> her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Wait. What? So, you're a real honest to, go to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yeah, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. We couldn't do something on that level. Mm, I thought that would be too easy. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yeah. So this- So first I grabbed the stinker, right? <laughs> I raised it up, over the head. I raised it above my head and went THWACK! And then I turned into a man with purple hair. <laughs> Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, a clock shaped like- The thinker. The one Larry made. How could that- how could that have been evidence in a case? Uh, Ray, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Can you hear her, her, her own voice? Yeah. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> I forgot. Just holding evidence in my hand. <laughs> so, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right! Uh, oh, I just remember that detective took my cell phone. Fucking asshole. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't even go on YouTube! <laughs> oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I almost said Detective Stabler for a second! <laughs> I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Okay, thank you. A conversation I had with you recording my cell phone. Alright. I'm depressed. Um, <laughs> hmm? Something the matter? Uh, I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? Question mark? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, uh, I'm in trouble. No shit. <laughs> you think you could go ask him to represent me? Uh, wow, there's a really good lawyer right here in front of you. You're not gonna request my services? Hmm. <laughs> That'd be nice. She's in for it. I mean, she has the right to choose her lawyer. Yeah. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. It's not like she can get up and do it herself. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. I'm literally right here. <laughs> Say, what about your parents? They're dead. Oh, I, I see. Right, don't worry, just leave it to me, I guess. Thank you. Charles, tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> what if this guy refuses? You told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Gotta love that. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. The exams are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Wait, why is this unchecked now? It's telling me about the day of the murder. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. 
Oh, let's see, that morning I got a call from- Yeah, wait. Call from my sister. I wanted to call the evidence. Yeah. Thinker, I wanted to call from- I wonder why it didn't, like, uncheck. Maybe because it had different kind of dialogue. Yeah, it does. Shit. It was around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. But then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> That's all I need to hear for now. Okay. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. So we got this. Yep. So we gotta ask the type to come shoot back for the phone. And then, oh, and then there's that new place. I guess I should just head Oh, well, they're probably, that, I mean, we can go to the scene of the crime, or we can go ask the lawyer. <laughs> oh. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh. Sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can people any- how could anyone mistake me for Larry? Oh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you are... Detective Gumtree? S Defective S Sweet Shoes. Uh, Sweetshoes, isn't it? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's me. Don't step on my blue s Sweet Shoes. I don't know actually how to say I don't know how to say that either. <laughs> Wait, that's a song, pal. My name's Dick Gumshoe. I wonder if that's a pun. As in, penis, <laughs> penis chewing gumshoe. Alright. Wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Thanks, anyway, Gumshoe. get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Uh, be right there. Aww. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm Leah's lawyer. Awesome! <laughs> now I can scoop for evidence. <laughs> hey, you want to see my defense badge? <laughs> Should I, should I do this? Yeah, I, feel, I feel like I'll we'll get the cell phone. Okay, go ahead. I was wondering, do you do you see Mia's Mia face cell phone? Oh, that I have that. Do you think you can do it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Uh. I'm gonna tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way you'll give it to me. Something matter? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just, uh, you know, detective. <laughs> nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers in it, like her boyfriend's. The cell phone holds a lot of little girl's sweetness and spiciest secrets. Uh, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh, oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. See, so guys, he didn't notice to record a conversation. Sweet, thanks! <laughs> Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. So he's a brace down like this. Yeah. So we can look back at this. The working is lame! Okay, it just has three of three, so that has the most important things here. Why is it space like that for Mia? I don't know. You wanna see my badge? This piece of paper next to the... Ne this was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't it? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Take these glass shards. <laughs> yeah, they, they keep hurting my hand when I hold them. <laughs> these are broken glasses at the crime scene, right? Hmm? Oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. Glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. Hmm. You wanna tell me about the- <gasps> hmm? what? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. Fuck you! Here's the thinker. <laughs> I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue. Th that's the murder weapon. Huh? He thinks a clock is just a statue too? I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. Alright, do you want to talk to him? <gasps> Wait, he's there with the plant. It's a plant. 
Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordelai Strict. Well, that's you. Cordelai Strict Appel. Who was that? Oh, wait, was that the plant talking? <laughs> Sky's blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. No clues here. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that Mia cried when she saw it. I gotta check it out myself one of these days. Well, I wanna see what, what poster would that be? <laughs> Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. That's depressing. There's a whole... Horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier, scarier still that Mia probably read all those. Well, it's probably worth all those cases. What, what do you want to talk to about Dick about? <laughs> about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Yeah. Now don't you look at Mia like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Asshole. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. <laughs> alright, time of death, uh, September 5th at 9 p.m. Cause of single blunt force trauma. Death was instant. I'm about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor <gasps> Edgeworth on the prosecution. It's my husband! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm bricked up right now. <laughs> Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I guess I asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yeah, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to men mention to you. Yeah? I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. I didn't think of that. I had completely forgotten about her. Damn, thanks, Gumshoe. <laughs> the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Oh, well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So, you already sent her home? Huh. <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in that hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try getting a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay that pay a visit to Miss May. Oh, <gasps> we talking about Edgeworth. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Smash. <laughs> Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh Of course not. Never heard of him! <laughs> Whoa! And you call yourself a lawyer, pal? I only had my first case yesterday. <laughs> About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. We're just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine that would do anything for a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edward hates crime with almost an absurd passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. We're not even Maya's lawyer! <laughs> Alright, well... Oh wait, we gotta ask for... Okay, we're gonna go question the witness? We didn't even ask, like... <laughs> didn't ask what? We didn't, we didn't go see the other lawyer. <laughs> I guess we can go see my, Miss Miss. Oh, uh, I was May. gonna see her first. Wow, you saw boobs and you're like, wow, this is this is great. <laughs> wow, hello there, handsome. I hate this already. <laughs> I already knew what voice I was gonna give this later. Yeah, we, if I get it done in this in this trial thing, we never see her again. <laughs> thank, right. thank God. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say anything- Oh wait. He said, don't say anything to that lawyer, pal. Teehee. I'm gonna sell. Thank Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee. This is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me just go freshen up while I look for a- Look the part for a beautiful witness. I paid the lawyer that has a cross examine this one. Examine her. No, you 
can't exist. She's not in the room anymore. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let me take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy. You should really pr You really shouldn't pray around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was about to explode there for a second. In like what kind of in what kind of way is she gonna no, never mind. <laughs> I wonder what the, what would be inside this the drawer. Alright. Stop trying to look at it! <laughs> cough 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 See you later. <laughs> Something I really wanna know. The flowers are fake as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but the extent but that's the extent of my floral knowledge. Ah, uh, a still seen painting. Wait, should it be still light? Whatever. One of those is hanging up on the wall. Hang on. She knows something. This is there's two wine glasses here. Oh, we examine it. Late summer sunlight steams through the window. There's the fake co building office, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clear from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance though. That's it. Well, you can't examine that, but you can always talk to her, I guess. Oh, a bottle and two glasses are on the- Why did they let you do that when- Someone must be staying with her. I wonder why I didn't do that when, when you hovered over the two glasses. You had to look at the table. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. I think that's everything in the room. You want to talk to the big boob lady now? You wanna see- <laughs> wanna see my badge? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness? You understand? How could I possibly give you any information on a good conscience? Hmm? Me, the witness? It's just like in the movies. I makes you want a hot dog so bad right now. <laughs> oh, is she gonna keep repeating the same shit? Can you ask her about anything? I guess not. Do you want to hear about this conversation I have on my phone? Yeah. Alright. What you witnessed? Do you think you can tell me about something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observed incident? You sound like a real lawyer in the movies. I'm like a man with a big vocabulary. Ugh. Better not encourage her. <laughs> uh, you know that thing that occurred, uh, happened the other day? The, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let me see. Uh, well, dream on. If you want to know, you have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee you know, you're cute when you're blushing. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no, Tee and you had our your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. This room! I see there's two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here? Oh, what an amazing power of observation! You must be one of those fancy detectives like on the television. Like that stabler guy. Olivia Benson, who? <laughs> oh, no, no, not me. I'm, uh, I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, don't you look... Why don't you look for some clues in the cry or the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. Oh yeah, there. Gro Grossberg. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should wait here for him to come back. <coughs> That wasn't the most over-the-cup clearing of the throat I've ever heard. 
Oh, uh -huh. so you're the you're the one that been looking for me. Yeah, we totally did. We didn't just procrastinate coming here in this old office. Uh, yes, that's me. It looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, aren't you now? Yeah, uh, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can be in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, didn't you, Don? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Maya, Maya Fay. go on. Hmm, what a strange reaction. Uh, ch ch I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's not, it's quite impossible. Wait, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Damn, he was fast to fucking say no. Yo, know, look at my back. <laughs> you want to make the hot sauce in your fucking <laughs> Man, you shove it everything. <laughs> Maybe Maya was on a hunch with the, the thing. Just be like, hey, you just shows evidence in people's faces. How can you just refuse me like that? Please, please, tell me why you won't take the case. Mm, well, uh -huh. well, you see, I just, I'm very busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her, her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However... I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I gotta go look elsewhere. Think not. Hmm? Did you just say something? I... Oh, well, I think not, I say. But what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? Uh, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How, how do you know Mia Faye? She she worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion, never looked back. Not one. Okay, cool. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, that's quite a painting you got. Ah, uh, you noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hats, the way this controller is vibrating in my leg right <laughs> It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, don't sell it. Not even to you! That wasn't interesting. It's not for sale! I'm not buying! Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. Solid, uh... Mahogany. Mahogany desk. The wood's been polished with a deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with extensive looking books. Mm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. They're for decoration. Don't you know? Should we look at the painting and be like, how much is this? <laughs> Painting has been bugging me since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffy nose. I'm sure the price of this is nothing to sneeze at either, for, for, for that matter. No oil goes here. It's good. Yeah. Expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant this is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. How expensive can plants be? Table for clients. Hmm. An elegant bunny place. So if I'm not mistaken, the ladder was made out of solid gold. You know, even I can tell people here got money to burn. Oh my god, he just like Sanji, where he has like a golden lighter. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we should tell me of the bad news, huh? Yeah. Hey, I'm so glad you're still depressed. Anyway, your lawyer's not gonna represent you. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're back! Yeah, I can stop. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, how do I tell her? 
Well, you see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? Ah, fuck. <laughs> you don't mean he refused to help. Uh, well... I see. I've been abandoned then. <laughs> I'm literally right in front of you, bitch. Oh, wait. You gave you her the phone. She asked for it, right? Oh, okay. Wait, are you just looking at it? Oh, there you go. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say! Can I listen to my sister's voice? Yeah. The one who killed me was Maya Fett. <laughs> Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her face. Thank you. Aww. Oh. Sure you that her sister lost <laughs> off the first. That's so fucked up! Do we have something else to talk to her about? You know what I should have you do while we while we play this and whatnot? Like after we complete the case, I should have you watch the the episodes of from the anime. Uh -oh. Alright, your family. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. Well, I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she still could be alive? Tell me about your dead mom. <laughs> Tell me about your trauma. <laughs> Tell me why you have mommy issues. <laughs> the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer. She left the metal. Damn. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten quite used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself up in that metal? Your mother's enemy. Yeah. She's being watched by a hitman. <laughs> so, who is this man that ruined this, your mother thing? Yeah. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spear medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <gasps> The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Wow, what a fucking asshole. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Well, well, yes, I know I'm white, but what does that have to do with it? <laughs> Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Should I just leave her and go home? I'll defend you. Alright! I made up my mind. I'm going to defend you. Whatever you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> To be honest, I don't know! You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me to kill her? All the evidence seems to say yes. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. And I hate fish! <laughs> that witness's strange behavior? What is all an act? And the way that the lawyer refused to help Maya out. But more important than that, she has no one left to help her! Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there. Long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one at their side. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. I don't have any money to pay you. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Lack of money. <laughs> 
chicks are like a bitches. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. It looks like she's entirely a different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. Asshole! <laughs> so you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was... It was when I tried to look in the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Alright, well maybe we'll find out about it in the next one. Stop trying to show her! I, I turned her and she was happy she was and then so I just made her sad by showing her my badge. so fucked up, man. I was like, she was all happy and then I showed her the badge and she was like, why would you do that? <laughs> well maybe we'll find out about the woman's strange behavior. Maybe even like, uh, Grossberg's strange behavior in the next one. Yeah, you guys get to actively watch us <laughs> save now. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah, just make it funny, that's all. Screen shake and vibration? I'm, I'm gonna turn the fucking vibration off <laughs> and screen the... shake. No, screen shake adds to it, man. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do it really sad. The, the vibration's really fucking annoying, though. Yeah. Alright. Well, pick up on this in the next one and prove that Maya actually did do it. <laughs> yeah, we get to court. Your Honor, she's guilty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Take care, everyone. Yep. Bye! Bye, -bye.